guys, what's going on? So today is March 13th, 2020. And uh, right now we're on our way to the Coca-Cola factory in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, we just left the Martin Luther King Jr. house. Um, so check out that vlog if you haven't. And I'll see you there. All right, so up there you can see that, you can see there's the world of Coca-Cola parking. Uh, parking complex right there so um yeah i'll see you guys when we're inside all right we just exited the uh parking garage and here we go this is the uh world of coca-cola you can oh yeah oh. oh yeah oh yeah you can see over there there's the cnn building we were going to get a tour of the building but they uh they shut it down because of coronavirus fears or whatever so Look, there's a there's like a bottle suspended right there, like a big bottle of Coca-Cola. All right, so we're going to buy some tickets, and I'll see you guys inside. And here's the oh, thank you. So we got our tickets right here, uh, and this is the front. All right. Oh, nice. I, I think we get a free Coca-Cola. All right, guys. So um, we just saw a uh, uh, a little orientation video, which was basically a 10-minute Coca-Cola commercial. But uh, we're in the self-guided tour portion of the thing, so and they actually gave us a free can of Coca-Cola when we walked in. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I'll show you around as much as I can. Oh yeah. So over here, you can see there's the uh, Coca-Cola polar bear right there. Uh, so I'm going to take a picture with it, so. All right, so it turns out that um, in order to get pictures with the polar bear, you actually have to purchase them because they have a photographer there. Um, so I'm probably not going to do that. So we're just going to go into this area called the vault. All right, so this is the uh, vault. Um, I think this is, they, they kind of talk about the formula and everything. Like, obviously they, they won't give you the actual formula or anything because that's like a secret, but um, they just kind of talk about the history. Um, I'll, I'll record again if there's something interesting that pops up, but it looks like it's mainly just like uh, a history of the company. All right, guys, so this is uh, one of the coolest parts of the tour, um, but this is an actual, uh, this is the vault that contains the actual handwritten formula for the Coca-Cola recipe, so I thought that was a really cool little thing. Um, so yeah, that, that, that was the main noteworthy part of the uh, secret vault there. Um, so yeah, uh, I, I just thought it was pretty cool that um, they have the real formula in there, so we're going to move on to the next section, which is the bottle work section. So this here, um, or th these are the actual appliances and machinery that they use to bottle uh, Coca-Cola. Um, so this is the water treatment machinery, and this over here. Um, is the filler. They also have the syrup tank. Um, as well as the bottle inspector. And they also have a packaging robot here. So, that's pretty cool. Um, a bottle rinser to keep everything clean. Um, they have like a blender over here, and yeah, this is some more machinery. I don't really know what most of this does. Um, these pla or these, these little signs here tell you what they'll do, but um, I'll have to go look at them later. But that's pretty much all of the machinery. Uh, so I'm going to go back and take a look at it, and I'll resume the recording whenever we um, go to a different section. All right, so now we're going to go over to this section, which is, um, it looks like a, kind of like a history of Coca-Cola. Um, I'm not really sure if I'll record in here, because um, I'll just like record during like, if I see any cool, interesting artifacts or stuff. Um, but yeah. Okay, so over here we have some authentic 
uh, Coca-Cola merchandise all along the wall there. And there's actually a ton of um, Coca-Cola stuff. These are some like really old artifacts here. You can obviously tell by the art style. And all along the walls here. I'm going kind of quickly because um, I'm not sure how much... I, I want the vlog to be too long pretty much, but yeah. And here we have like a Coca-Cola delivery truck. This is pretty cool because you can tell it's a really old one. Um, yeah, that's basically um, all of the interesting things in here. So I'll, I'll resume the recording whenever I see something else cool. So all along the wall here, you can see the different designs of uh, Coca-Cola bottles over the years. Um, you can actually see right there, there's like a metal golden Coca-Cola bottle. There are a lot of other ones too. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, and over here, there are some more posters and cutouts and stuff. Um, that look like, they kind of look like they're from the 1960s. Um, but, yeah. Definitely early 1900s, some of these, so. Yeah. Um, so over here you can see there are a multitude of like different Coca-Cola vending machines. Um, some of these you can tell are like really old, um, but some of them look a little newer. Like this one um, looks like it was uh, in Asia. Um, as you can tell from the lettering. So yeah, it's, it's pretty cool that they show all these different Coca-Cola machines that are from different countries and everything. Uh, over here, there's some more memorabilia. Um, some of these are like foreign posters, as you can tell, like this one's um, another Asian one. There are all these other posters in different languages. Um, so it's really cool because it shows how widespread Coca-Cola is and how it's, uh, it's a, it can be found in like dozens, or like thousands of countries. So yeah, there's some more posters. And up above, you can see that there are a ton of uh, uh, bottles. <laughs> I'm not really sure why they have some, because some, as you can tell, some of these bottles aren't Coca-Cola. Um, I'm assuming that Coca-Cola probably produces, like these are probably companies owned by Coca-Cola. Um, oh wait, you can see that in the middle, there's the Coca-Cola bottle. But it's kind of showing how out of all of the beverages that you can choose, Coca-Cola is kind of the main one. Okay, so I actually missed this section when I was walking by, but you can see that this wall was filled with um, Olympic torches, um, all of which were sponsored by Coca-Cola. Um, you can see, oh, this one right here, you can see that it's from the Sydney 2000 Olympics. Um, that one is the Beijing uh, Olympics in 2008. Uh, some of these I actually don't really recognize, um, because, oh, this one is from Rio. This one's more recent, 2016. Uh, so yeah. Rio, um, and Beijing and Sydney are the only ones I really know about, so. Yeah, I just thought it was pretty cool that they have all these Olympic torches. All right, guys, so we've just finished up at the exhibit over there, and we're going to go upstairs to see what else there is. Um, I've already shown you everything that there is to see downstairs, um, but it looks like they have a 4D theater over there. Um, I probably can't record in the theater, um, so I'll just see what, what else there is to do. Alright, so up here, it looks like it's kind of an area where you can like taste Coca-Cola and everything, because they have, they have dispensers over there. Um, so I'm going to go over there and, and check it out. All right, so you can see they're like, it, it's like a, kind of like a train of bottles that extends throughout the whole area. Um, but you can see, it looks like they have, uh, you can taste um, different, uh, I guess, 
Coca-Cola brands from around the globe. So, all right, so we've obtained a cup and we're going to try some Asian uh, soft drinks. Oh, look, they have melon Fanta. All right. All right, so this is the melon frosty Fanta from Thailand, so. It tastes kind of interesting, but it's actually pretty good, so. Yeah, let's go try some other flavors. All right, so I'm going to try uh, this one. This is um, a soda from India called Thumbs Up, so. That's me. It tastes exactly like Coca-Cola. So, that, that one is, it, but it, yeah, that's pretty cool, all right. All right, so now we move to the Africa um, soda machine. So, I'm gonna try this Fanta flavor from Uganda. Uh, it's called Fanta Exotic, so. It kind of has like a fruity taste. I, I'm not, I can't really describe it. Um, it kind of tastes, it tastes kind of like mango and like another fruit, but it's, it, this is actually really good. I really like this one. All right, so I'm going to try a different flavor. It's corn. This one's from South Africa. It's called um, Bigo, uh DJ Mango, or DJ Kiwi Mango, so. So it's more of like a juice, like it, it doesn't have any fizz or anything. But yeah, this one actually tastes pretty good too. I can definitely taste the mango. So. Alright, so right now we're at the European uh, uh, area and I want to try this Viva. So it's called Viva, it's from Moldova. So. This one, it's kind of hard to describe the taste. It's kind of like an orange, like a fizzy orange or cherry soda. No. All right, so now I'm going to try uh, this. It's called, it's called Aquarius Libre, and it's from Spain, so. It doesn't really have that much of a taste to it. Like, it isn't fizzy at all, and. It just kind of tastes like flavored water, so, yeah. Uh, so right now we're at the North America uh, station, and most of these I don't need to try because they're flavors we already have. But I do want to try this one. It's called Fresca, and it's a North American one, so. This one tastes exactly like Sprite. It's basically Sprite, so yeah. Alright, so right now we're at the Latin America station and I'm going to try Inca Cola. So this one is from Peru. This one is, this one is really syrupy, for sure. Yeah, this one's okay. Yeah. Alright, so now I'm going to try this one. It's called Jamaica and Nada, and it's from Mexico. So, as you can see, this one's really red. It's like the other chick I had, so. This one's pretty good. It's like a, it has like a fruity kind of taste, so I like this one. All right, so we're done with the, uh, this area, but over here they have this. Um, they have like a, a whole area with these with Coca-Cola machines, so you can get like any drink you want, and it's pretty cool. So yeah, um, I think we're going to go to a different area though, because there's there's some rooms over there in a 40 theater. So I'll see you guys over there. All right, guys. So we just left um, the Taste It area. Um, that, that's probably like my favorite area so far because um, we got to taste like uh, dozens of uh, soft drinks from around the world. Um, 
and yeah I actually tasted a, a, a ton of I, I tasted like at least like three or four flavors from each uh, from each region um, off camera so uh, yeah I really enjoyed that um, but now we're going to go uh, to this area behind me uh, the pop culture area and I'll see you guys inside. I'm not sure if there's anything to really record in there, but um, if there's something interesting, then I'll, I'll re start recording again. All right, so in here you can see that there, um, and there's an assortment of merchandise and stuff. Uh, you can see there's a Coca-Cola radio right there. Um, there's like a hat, a thermometer, and some toys and stuff. Over here you can see all the things that uh, have been made out of like Coca-Cola bottles and stuff. So you can see there's like a harp um, with like a, a big Coca-Cola bottle. Um, somebody made like uh, a bowl right there and it's made out of um, pieces of Coca-Cola cans. And you have like a robot there. And there's, there's a ton of other stuff that's been made out of Coca-Cola cans up here. It's really cool, so, yeah. All along this wall, you can see um, all of the Coca-Cola art that's been made. My favorite one is this uh, bottle that's made out of like metal scrap and stuff like that. And they also have all these Christmas paintings of Santa Claus with the bottle of Coke. And over here they have a uh, kind of like a living room setting with Coca-Cola stuff all over it. Alright, so we just left the uh, pop culture section and now we're going to go over to the uh, 40 theater that's right behind me. So I'll see you guys then. Alright guys, so right now we're in the 40 Coca-Cola theater. Um, we got our Coca-Cola glasses. Um, obviously I won't be able to record in the actual theater, but, uh, I'll get back to you guys when the film is over. Alright, so we've seen, uh, basically everything there is to see. We just got out of the 40 theater. Um, so, uh, we'll be exiting, and conveniently the exit is actually through the gift shop. So I'll see you guys, uh, in the gift shop. Alright, here we go guys. There's no re-entry. The Coca Cola store. Alright, so here it is. It's, they have a lot of products, so I'm going to go buy some stuff and I'll see you guys outside. Alright, hey guys, what's going on? So I just got out of the gift shop. Um, I bought a few things. And, and yeah, so that's basically going to be the end of the vlog. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is actually our last day in Atlanta. Tomorrow we're going to fly back to Houston. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.